was 13.8 kilometers at 8.1 percent average gradient the orbit was really steals the show at any edition of the tour de france especially a stage summit finish to this climb to the eponymous ski station first entered the fray in the 1952 tour where the great fast took copy won the inaugural ascent since then this has become the climb of the tour it attracts hordes of spectators who camp out days even weeks in advance to get prime spots the crowd the road as the top riders pass through lighting flares and making other questionable choices fortunately security has gotten a bit tighter than it was back in 1999 when an amateur photographer knocked Gisa Biguarini off his bike the Italian won anyway that day on all but was gradient of Alpin was is remarkably consistent for the first 12 kilometers never strain much from a range of 8 to 10 percent after a mild incline for 500 meters the next 12 kilometers average 8.7 percent before easing off to 3.6 percent for the final 1.8 kilometers 78 percent 10.8 kilometers of the climb is at grades 5 to 10 percent the steepest 500 meters is 11 percent and there are two continuous kilometers that average 10.5 percent 10 percent of the ascent average is greater than or equal to 10 percent grade its 21 switchback bends, each named after a former winner, or winners, on the mountain. Every part of the climb is iconic from the way it kicks straight up from flat to 10% at the bottom, to the astonishing views of Berg Doyesons below. So many important moments in the history of the tour have happened on Alpe d'Huez. Dosto Coppi was the first rider to win on the Alpe in 1952 at the end of a mammoth 266 km stage starting in Lausanne. Since then, the list of winners on the climb reads like a who's who of cycling and the name of the stage winners are immortalized on signs at each of the 21 bends. Though neither the steepest nor the longest climb in any Tour de France, the Alpe d'Huez is, by some distance, the most famous of the many mountains that have featured in the race over the years. In fact, the vast majority of the record ascents of Alpe d'Huez have come with large question marks, i.e., doping. Based on the 13.8 kilometers distance climb the 36 minutes and 50 seconds recorded by Marco Pontani in 1995 is the fastest ascent. In 2022 the World Cyclocross and Olympic Mountain Bike Champion Tom Pitcock, riding his first tour, rode the way on the Galavier descent, before going solo from a break including four-time tour winner Chris Froome with around 8 kilometers to go and one on the Alba, the youngest winner on the Alba in Tour de France history.